The Monetary Policy Committee of the Central Bank of Nigeria has retained the Monetary Policy Rate MPR at 11.5%. The CBN Governor Godwin Emefile announced this after the committee's two-day meeting in Abuja. It also retained the cash reserve ratio and liquidity ratio at 27.5% and 30% respectively. These rates are the rates the MPC maintained at its last meeting in November last year. Joining us live is Robert Martin, the Chief Investment Officer, Afri Invest Asset Management Limited. Many thanks for joining us on the news tonight. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be with you. All right. Well, now that the lending rate has been retained at 11.5%, do you see stability in the country at this rate? Well, I think it's um, in the wisdom of the Monetary Policy Committee. Uh, they have decided at this time to maintain this rate at 11.5%, um, the same as we had since uh, November of last year. Uh, we think that it's it's um, consistent with what the Monetary Policy Committee has always said. Uh, the objective is to stabilize prices. However, because of the COVID-19 pandemic and all of the shocks and uh, external and domestic vulnerabilities that it has brought, uh, the committee is deciding at this time to uh, maintain status quo with a lot of argument that still towards a dovish stance, given the much of stimuli that we have seen across uh, major economies of the world. We are beginning to see a situation the central bank is also trying to positively boost economic after we see into recession again in 2020 and projection I just projected the economy to grow by 1.5 percent into all right Robert Martin day let me just butt in at this point okay a school of thought believes that retaining the rate will also encourage borrowing as lending rate by banks is expected to remain low is this the true picture Okay, Robert Martin, let me run that by you once again. A school of thought believes that retaining the rate will also encourage borrowing as lending rate by banks is expected to remain low. Is this the true picture? Well, I think that um, the argument has been made uh, consistently that an increase or reduction in FBR may not necessarily store um, lending by the banks. The banks have several other factors was to determine whether they want to lend. As you will notice, the central bank has been trying to boost economic activity already the banks to lend. Loan to deficit ratio minimum has been pegged at 65%. Uh, but if you look at the books of the banks from analysis, only about three top uh, three banks within the uh, publicly listed banks are currently maintaining this particular threshold. So it's a difficult and tough business environment for the banks as well. Or most of them are trying to stay cautious. So rather than grow their loan book, they are also trying to see how they can be, you know, much more prudent to ensure that any credit they create is such that they can recover. So uh, the retention of NPL may not necessarily spur lending All right. uh, into the real sector. However, what we may see will be uh, most uh, banks trying to, you know, play around some of the heterodox policies of the central bank. Okay. In, uh, growing the credit. Well, thanks for the, those thoughts. But just before we let you go now, one issue right now is that inflation is still going up. What is the need, or what is needed to be done to reduce the quantum of money in circulation? Yeah, what we think is, I think the MPC also mentioned it. And communicate today. Uh, what we saw was that MPC alluded to the fact that we still have. Uh, price level uh, vulnerabilities. And what the committee reiterated is the, is the fact that within the environment that we are now, uh, raising NPR is not necessarily for inflation, given that inflation uh, factors that we're seeing, inflationary pressure that we're seeing now, is majorly due to supply side factors and not necessarily because uh, there's huge volume of money in circulation. So I think one of the things that will help moderate inflation is 
and uh, the fact that we have the border reopening so that's because we are still going to likely see increases in pump right petrol. But definitely, the central bank will continue to do its best to put a rain on domestic price levels. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.